In this video I want to show how you can test a power supply. I made a power supply um, because I had this project that is the precision capacitance meter and uh, this power supply has to deliver voltages between uh, 2.4 and 30 volts. So that's quite a lot and also uh, it had to, has to give a certain current, approximately 300 milliampere. So I made a power supply completely classical with the 2N3055 the BD139 in a Darlington figuration and this is a classic uh, electronic circuit and we vary the voltage here on the base. Uh, the output voltage follows the um, voltage on the base and there's only a small voltage drop uh, in the two transistors, approximately 1.6 volts. So when I turn this potentiometer I can get at the output voltages between 0 volt and approximately 32 volts. And this is the way I've made it the 2N3055 and here on the back the BD139. This is the potentiometer and when I turn this knob the voltage varies between let's say 0 volt and approximately 32 volt but that also depends of course on the load at the output. And I connected a car lamp here to the output and this load is too much compared to what I need later. So it's a heavy load for this power supply. It will also get extremely hot. But that's my way of testing a power supply. Um, I always connect a load that's too heavy compared to the later situation. Um, where a lower current is drawn by the electronic circuit. This is the circuit to which it uh, is connected in the future. I have to build it all over again. This is only experimental. It's an oscillator and uh, one transistor PC547B that drives the meter from the capacitance uh, meter circuit. Um, but what I wanted to show is uh, a few things and they are this that a power supply can create radio noise, hum and ripple at its output. And um, how you can detect this, this is a way uh, put a radio on the FM band next to your power supply and then vary the voltage at the output with a heavy load and at the same moment connect your oscilloscope to the output. Then you can see what happens, whether there is noise or uh, high frequency oscillations or whatever. I connected the oscilloscope to the output. Now I'm going to vary the output voltage. And here you can see that when the lamp takes its current Um, the ripple at the output also gets much stronger. This is the maximum output current in this case. Far too much for the lamp. It's a 12 volt lamp and I think the output is now 20 volts or so. So it's overdimensioned. The transistors get hot. Hot. And there is a lot of ripple at the output. But in the um, future situation this ripple will be not present because it only takes 300 milliampere. But when you have a power supply that has to deliver a substa substantial current this could be interesting especially in audio uh, circuits. This ripple uh, you will hear 
is Ripple in an audio amplifier as a sort of hum coming out of the loudspeakers, loudspeaker boxes. I put on the FM radio now. And you can see that when I vary the voltage, the whole circuit gives radio noise. So that's not good. And um, you can uh, avoid this radio noise by a few measures. Uh, make the, the power supply in the shielded box, connect it to one location in the shielding, shielded box, uh, connect here capacitor from 100 nanofarad or 400 nanofarad, raise the value from this capacitor to a higher value, um, connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor from this location to the metal shielding. These are all uh, measures to uh, avoid the radio noise. So that's, that's what I have to do now in this power supply. Uh, I have to take some time and study it better how to uh, suppress the radio noise that's created by this power supply.